In this tutorial, we will be looking at the terrain foliage layer. This is used for both fields and terrain vegetation. To do this, we need to switch on the terrain foliage paint mode, which can be found here. As with all the previous terrain editing tools, our mouse pointer changes to a paintbrush. Much like before, we open the terrain editing panel and skip through to the section for the foliage layer. In order to paint the surface on the field, we need to turn on the foliage layer in terrain detail. In the foliage channel, we can see that at the moment bit 0 is active. Each bit determines which texture will be painted in the foliage layer. Bit 0 is the texture for normal, untilled land. Bit 1 is the texture for plowed land. Bit 2 is the texture for planted, seed-covered land. And bit 3 is the texture for potato ridges. These four bits should not be active at the same time, otherwise errors may occur. But bit 4 to 6 can be set in addition to the previous four bits without causing problems. For example, bit 4 adds fertilizer to the previous texture, bit 5 rotates the texture 45 degrees, and bit 6 rotates it 90 degrees, both in a counterclockwise direction. Combining both bits 5 and 6 will rotate the texture 45 degrees in the other direction. Let's paint a sown and fertilized field on our terrain. When we're finished, we'll plant some crops on our new field. This is done in a similar fashion. We simply set the foliage layer to a certain crop type, wheat, for example. And bit 0 will be set accordingly. Bits 0 to 3 define the type of crop. In this way, it is similar to the layer selection from before, but as we've already effectively set the bit by choosing a crop type, we don't need to alter bits 0 to 3. Following on, bits 4 to 7 define the growth stages of a crop, letting us paint different degrees of plant growth on our map. A download link to a list of the various bit flags can be found below the video player. As we want to paint fully grown wheat, we should enable both bits 4 and 6. Generally, we recommend starting a new game in Farming Simulator 15, following any significant map changes. This is particularly necessary after editing the foliage layer, otherwise the new foliage will not be displayed.